So Kyle has his bail hearing tomorrow, in case you haven't heard the news. Apparently, Kyle's lawyer put down the wrong address on a form that he submitted to the court. Deputies went to that address. Kyle wasn't there. And so they have decided to hold a bail hearing tomorrow to see what to do about it. So if you're Kyle's lawyer, what do you say? Well, I've been thinking about this, and I think I've put together an argument I'd like to bandy around and see what you guys think. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brain waves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Okay, so first off, let's be clear. In the bail hearing on November 2nd, the judge told Kyle what he wanted Kyle to do as part of the bond agreement. Disclosing his address was not one of those. That's what Kyle heard. So who filled out the, the paperwork? It looks like it was Kyle's lawyer. So one of the arguments I could try to make is that Kyle didn't lie to the court at all. His lawyer put the wrong address down. And his lawyer's been fired. He's gone. Now, some of you might think, that's no excuse. He is the defendant. He's responsible for all the information sent to the court. I would counter that, look, Kyle is a newbie to the court system. The lawyer is the experienced hand. In fact, Kyle brought that lawyer in because as a certified lawyer in the state of Wisconsin, he's supposed to know the law. And therefore, Kyle is under no condition to refute it. If the lawyer puts down a different address and tells Kyle, hey, this is what we need to do, it's okay, Kyle is in no position to counter that. He has to place certain trust in a lawyer that the lawyer understands the law and that everything that the lawyer is doing is to his own benefit. Now, how far will that argument go? Well, I don't know. I think I would try it, though. I would also about the purpose of bail in the first place. The purpose of bail is to make sure that the defendant shows up in court, but he has attended all of the court proceedings. Therefore, there's no need to increase his bail because he's already demonstrated through his actions that he can be trusted to appear when he needs to be there. Also, purpose of bail is to make sure that the defendant doesn't hurt people, but he hasn't. He's had opportunities to go out there and create all the mayhem he wants, but he hasn't done it. He hasn't hurt anyone. I would also argue that, look, this is really about protecting the accused. We have all kinds of protections and safeguards in place in the law to protect the accused, but it doesn't do any good if you tell the people that want to kill him where he's living. So there doesn't seem to be any good reason to disclose his address. His lawyer didn't offer his address not as a way to subvert the court, but to protect his client. You ask, what about credible threats? Have we seen any credible threats? Credible threats, as I mentioned in my last video, are worthless. The people who are going to kill him are not going to threaten him first. You cannot wait for a threat to surface, then take action. Those who email, I'm going to kill you, or send you nasty things on social media are not the ones to worry about. They're not going to do anything. That's all hot air. It's the person who's not threatening you that's going to take action. Are there people out there that want to threaten the client? Absolutely. And you can see all kinds of stuff on the internet showing people really, really want him dead. And has anyone ever attacked him before? Yes, he has been attacked by three people. One person was a raving lunatic who had been in a mental hospital earlier. There are a lot of people out there like him and who will gladly go and take action. These are also known arsonists. And throwing a Molotov cocktail at a house is certainly within their purview. Finally, I would comment that, look, Judge, 
If you go to the website, we don't see your address there. Is ADA Thomas Binger's address listed on the website? Mine isn't. I don't tell people what my home address is for a reason. The same reason that you don't and why Thomas Binger doesn't. It's because there are people out there that might want to do us harm, just like the client. Why isn't the client afforded the same level of protection? We talk about open records. Oh, Wisconsin is very proud of its open records policy. Well, okay, then why not get Thomas Binger's address and post it on the website? What about you, Judge? Why don't you put your address on the website? I thought we had an open records policy here. People, the public deserves to know where their judges live. And of course, we don't do that. And so I would suggest that disclosing my client's address does no good to anyone. It serves no useful purpose and can only lead to harm. Well, anyway, that's what I would throw out there. Now, I'm sure that the real lawyers out there are probably chuckling at the whole thing, like, can't believe it. Look at this amateur here disclosing what he would tell the judge. Okay, fine. I mean, I, I don't have any experience in making these kind of addresses to judges and stuff like that, so this may come off as comical, but I don't care. Like my video and subscribe to my channel.